Okay, it says I'm live. Hope I am live. It says I'm live. Wait for some people to come in. We'll check it out. So today we're going to talk about Vincent van Gogh. We're going to celebrate Vincent van Gogh. No one is uh, uh, in the chat. Okay, we'll just go right ahead and uh, talk. Somebody come into the chat. Oh, it's Jenny. Hi. Hi, Jenny. Jenny O'Brien is in the chat. Good. we got someone. So today we're talking about Vincent van Gogh, um, my painting hero, Vincent van Gogh. Get your 2020 calendar, Vincent van Gogh. Look at that. I haven't even opened it yet. It's got paintings on the back of it. Today we want to talk about Vincent van Gogh. He's my hero. Vincent van Gogh was born in 1853, and he died, died in 1890, and he painted like a 1,000 paintings in 10 years, the last 10 years of his life. So Vincent van Gogh was, uh, he had a very short career in painting, but he had a huge amount of paintings he did over a 10-year period. Tommy was 37 when apparently he committed suicide, although that's debatable. He did a 1,000 paintings in the last 10 years of his life, and they were as you can see, they're absolutely brilliant. I've got a calendar of them for 2020. I haven't even opened it yet. <laughs> hey, 420. How's it going? We're having a chat about Vincent van Gogh. A live chat about Vincent van Gogh's career. He was born in 1853, died in 18... And it wasn't until about 1920s when he was really discovered, about 30 years after he died, when they, uh, he had a... Joe Bro, Buddy had a brother, uh, Theo, which was uh, a brother younger than him, and his Theo had a, a wife called Jo, Josephine, and Jo published books on the letters he jo, Eli wrote to, I mean, not Eli, uh, Vincent van Gogh wrote to uh, his brother, Theo. They published the books, and then they pub, they did an exhibition on his paintings and at, the, um, at the Louvre, and I thought, well, this guy's a genius. So it took 30-odd-plus years before he died, before before you became even known. He only saw one painting in his life, and that was the Red Vineyard for for Peanuts. And Vincent Vigo is a great guy. I've got plenty of books on him, as you can see. Um, I'm currently reading this book about Vincent Van Gogh's ear. Apparently, Van Gogh, he, he literally cut his whole ear off and only left a lobe. I'm only halfway through reading this book. And um, let me see here. I could just look, get into it. As you can see, there's a diagram here. You can see the picture here. I don't know if you can see it that well. It shows Vince Gogh, he cut off his whole ear and just left the lobe. A little bit of the lobe at the end of it. I don't know if you can see that. I hope you can. And this book goes on about it. But he just cut, literally cut his whole ear off. And, and she did a, um, a documentary on YouTube about it. Uh, Bernadette Murphy. And she also did another documentary on Vincent McGo fakes and forgeries, which is another good documentary on YouTube, which you should catch. So Vincent Van Gogh, who was an epic guy, this is my favorite book on Vincent Van Gogh. It's got lovely paintings of Vincent Van Gogh, paintings he did. Uh, as you can see, he did more self-portraits of himself than, than any other artist other than Rembrandt. Did he ever say why he cut off his ear? Uh, I don't know why. He Apparently he, he cut his ear off because Paul Tazan, who was with him at the Yellow House, Paul Tazan, he, um, he didn't, Paul Tazan was wanting to leave because they just didn't get along. And apparently uh, Vincent Van Gogh didn't want him to leave, so he cut his ear off, gave it to a prostitute uh, named Rachel uh, out of just anger. Actually, I've got pictures in here of the Yellow House. I've just got to find the book. There's photographs of the Yellow House he was in. He even did a painting. This is a painting of the Yellow House. There's actual photographs of the actual Yellow House he did. Here it is. This is an actual photograph of the Yellow House in, in 1922. So it got bombed in, 19, in the 1943 or something by the German Allies. Um, this is an actual photograph of the Yellow House in 1922. It was still up until 1943 or something like that when uh, the German Allies bombed them. 
well, they weren't allies, were they? <laughs> they bombed them. They bombed the French. Uh, Hitler bombed the uh, bombed the place, and this is the, the whole thing came down. But this is an actual photograph of it. So, a uh, little bit of everything with Julissa. Hi, Julissa. How's it going? We're talking about Vincent Van Gogh. Just a live chat of Vincent Van Gogh. It's all good in the hood. Uh, Yellow House. This is the actual photograph of Yellow House. I've got many other things here of it too. Um, also, I want to mention Kirk Douglas' Lust of a Life, the greatest um, movie about Vincent Van Gogh starring Kirk Douglas, Lust of a Life. Now, I've seen that many times, Lust of a Life, and um, I've got to say, I've got to say that um, at the end of the film, it shows him his last painting was the Scarecrow, uh, 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 not the Scarecrow, the uh, the Black Crows. And, you know, Kurt Russell does that bit, and then he goes and shoots himself. I don't believe that's happened at all. Jay just subscribed. Oh, thank you. Thank you for subscribing. That's very kind. Uh, J1980, hello, just described. Thank you. That is really cool. So this is, like I said, my favorite book. But Vincent Vigo, apparently they, they made this story up. They hid his canvases and, his, and his, his palette and all that, and they said that he shot himself. Well, I don't think he shot himself. I think Vincent Vigo was taken out by a couple of kids in a barn, and he played the martyr. So basically it's a cold case, as far as I'm concerned. Vincent Van Gogh is my favorite artist. Yeah. Do you think he was just covering up for the kid for or kids that shot him? Yeah, I do think he was covering up. I think he was playing the martyr. I think he, he was playing the martyr for a couple of kids. Um, kid called Rene shot him with a gun. Yeah, I wondered that too. Yeah, I definitely think that he uh, shot himself in the barn. He, a couple of kids shot him in a barn when he was painting. And basically, he play, he covered for them because they're just kids. He didn't want them to go to prison. He played the martyr and covered for them. But definitely, I think he shot himself. I would have done the same. Yeah. Well, Vincent Go, I think he's a, he, he died as a martyr. I don't think he shot himself. It's ridiculous. I mean, if you're going to shoot yourself, you just go boom, right? You, you don't shoot yourself in the stomach. That's ridiculous. Kids shot him. Accidentally, I think the kids accidentally shot him in the stomach when he tried to take the gun away from them, and uh, they took all the stuff and ran away and made up a story about him. Vincent the girl was, and then six months later, Theo, whose younger brother, who supported him financially, he he, he ended up dead of syphilis, which is pretty sad because Vincent Go, other than the fact that he was poor, he was actually quite healthy, and the fact that he had no teeth, he was actually quite healthy. Vincent Go, Vincent Go was a total genius. He wasn't discovered until about 30 odd years after he died about the letters, but, but um, it was an absolute genius of a man. And this is my favorite book on Vincent Van Gogh. This is a fantastic book. Vincent by himself, uh, edited by Bruce Bernard. This is a fantastic book. Best picture book you could ever find on Vincent Van Gogh. Okay. He had lovely paintings in, in them. You see, he's uh, the Night Cafe, very famous painting. I think uh, one of his masterpieces was uh, the Potato Eaters. It was probably his greatest painting he ever did. If I can find it in here somewhere. Now, he even painted his mother, who didn't get along with at all. He even painted his mother. Look at that. He was a prolific portrait painter as well as an artist. Um, bits of a go. He started off after he left school as he wanted to be a preacher, and like his father was a preacher, a minister, but it just didn't work out. And um, then, then he tried to um, sell paintings for, for uh, a company named Gupil. And uh, they fired him because he basically told the customers that don't buy that painting because it's it's not good. And <laughs> I mean, he's supposed to say the opposite. So he got fired for that. And then he decided he'd take up himself as an artist. Now, someone suggested Anton Move, his cousin. Anton Move was a famous painter at the time. So Anton Move gave him some instructions. It lasted three weeks. Three weeks. <laughs> Anton Move taught him how to paint. It lasted three weeks, and then it didn't. 
uh, anyway, Vincent McGough was on his way. He spent the last 10 years of his life, and he wrapped up a 1,000 paintings in 10 years and did famous painting. He was different for sure. He was. Um, we all know the the uh, Sunflowers, very famous painting. I think um, Alan Bond, who passed away, he bought he bought the irises, a painting of the irises, and he bought it for like $69 million or something. I mean, it's just staggering. Hey, bottle caps. How's it going? I think um, this is the most famous self-portrait he ever did of himself, just before he died, too, and it was a magnificent self-portrait. They said all the swirls on here was because he was mad. I don't think he was. I don't think he was. I think Vincent Van Gogh suffered from depression. I think that's what he suffered from. I don't think he was crazy or mad. He painted He painted a lot of irises, as you can see. See, this is why I love this book, because it's such a beautiful book. Uh, edited by Bruce Bernard, Vincent by himself. It's a fantastic book. It's a lovely book, and I love this book. It's got great paintings of it. He even painted uh, Joseph Roulan and his wife. He loved paint, painting portraits of other people, but people wouldn't uh, paint for him, sit for him because they didn't trust him. Um, when Vincent Vigo cut his ear off, what did Vincent Vigo do? He painted himself as a portrait with his cut ear off. And you can see the chair there. Hey, bottle caps. Good to see you, bottle caps. Just looking at some paintings here. I mean, the lovely paintings. I mean, look at these. The lovely paintings. Absolutely love these self portraits of people he painted. Joseph Rulano, a lady there. Those flowers are poisonous, by the way. <laughs> Look here. Now, there was a movie recently that's come out called um, At Eternity's Gate. Now, I've seen that movie. It's a very good movie. Um, Stellan Alan Defoe, William Defoe, starring William Defoe. Now, that was a very good movie, William Defoe, on um, Vincent Van Gogh. At Eternity's Gate, and I recommend that movie. Uh, also, another good one called Loving Vincent, which was a whole lot of people painting hundreds of paintings of Vincent Van Gogh as he goes along his journey, like a detective, a guy role playing uh, a detective. Type of thing. That's a very good movie, too. But Lust for Life is probably the most famous movie ever. SP Power, real YouTuber. Oh, man, that's great. ESP Power, thank you. Real YouTuber. Thank you, SP Power. No woke movies 2020. <laughs> I don't know what a woke movie is. But uh, we're talking about Vincent Van Gogh. Hey, thanks for another problem. Vincent Van Gogh. To me, he's my favorite artist. And in my community tab on my, my painting channel, I have Lacey's Place. Hello, Lacey's Place. On, like I said, on my community tab, in my channel, on my channel, I have a list of five of the greatest artists that I think ever lived. Who is your favorite artist? Make sure you put yours on there. Vincent Van Gogh is not doing too well on it. Um, mm -hmm. Everybody likes Claude Monet. I don't really think that much of Claude Monet. He's okay. I don't you know. Who's a French Impressionist? Just like Vincent Van Gogh. Vincent Van Gogh was actually a post-Impressionist. I've seen many of Vincent's paintings in museums around the world. Have you really? So impressed by the precision of his work. Unbelievable, you've actually seen them. That's amazing. J1980, many of his, Vincent, that's incredible. Wow. I have actually knew a guy when I was at Massey University about 10 years ago. I, I knew a guy who actually had seen Vincent Van Gogh's paintings as well, and he said the same thing. He, he was just blown away with Vincent Van Gogh's paintings. He said, this guy just, he basically cried when he saw Vincent Van Gogh's paintings. He said, this guy is a freaking genius. But he wasn't noted. He wasn't even noticed. Even his peers, they made fun of him. They threw cabbages at him. Kids threw cabbages at him. They insulted him. I mean, um, he had a hard life, Vincent Van Gogh. He had no teeth, literally any. He was uh, he support, His younger brother, Theo, supported him for his paintings. What a brother. Hey, Barbara. Leonardo da Vinci. <laughs> Why not? 
Jenny. Barbara plays in the house. Hello, Barbara. Leonardo da Vinci. Yeah, Leonardo da Vinci was awesome. He was a great artist, Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci, one of the greatest. The Mona Lisa the painting was actually stolen in 1911 for like two and a half years, and they found it in the um, in the kitchen of some guy. In free bed, in there, but yeah. But uh, Leonardo da Vinci, awesome artist, man. One of the greatest ever. The Mona Lisa. Yep, it's unbelievable. It's uh, It was actually stolen at one time for two and a half years. 1911. Look it up on YouTube. You'll find out what I mean. But, um, I prefer the crazy Dutch art bastard. So do I, bottle caps. <laughs> I prefer the crazy bastard too. I prefer the, the Looney Tune, yeah, for sure. Uh, I don't think Vincent Van Gogh was a Looney Tune at all. I think he was. Uh, I think Vincent Van Gogh suffered from depression. I don't think he's he, he lacked social skills. He was um, he was an introvert, um, kind of like me. I'm an introvert too. I feel like I'm an introvert. 